Good afternoon, everyone. This is Chris Brecher with Simpler Trading. What am I going to talk about today? End of the month rebalancing. Now, John Carter has a class tomorrow on looking at buying stocks that have been acting the worst. There are a ton of them. I'm going in the minority of you just for the day, just for day trading. The reason is there are a lot of people like me that think this, this could try to fill the gap. The old Santa Claus rally, fill in the gap. So just keep that in mind. I'm looking at that. On the other hand, there's a handful of stocks that might go down no matter what. Now, keep in mind, at the end of the month, the end of the year, you get some funky trades. So maybe that doesn't happen. Maybe it goes to here. So what I want to do is find stocks that might go down no matter what, even if this goes to fill the gap. You can see the gap's a mile away, mile away. So let's just say I want to find stocks that refuse to go up, that have been up for the year, and they're starting to roll over. I'm going to show you a couple of things of how to set it up. So you know I love using FinViz for screeners. So I haven't even signed up in here. Just keep that in mind. I haven't even logged in. So what I'm going to do in here is we're going to go to a screener. And we're going to take stocks that are optionable and shortable. This is only for tomorrow. I just want to make this clear. We're looking for cheap options just in case the ones I show you get pounded. So I want the price over 50. I want stocks that give you a lot of bang for the buck. Now, I don't want to do the current volume because today is so slow. I want the average volume to be, let's say, 750,000. I want to take active stocks. Now, you could make that 500,000 if you want, personal preference. Now, if you just did that, it's 600 stocks. Now, how about X funds? I don't want funds. You're down to 492 that are over 50 with average volume over 750,000. But now we're going to add the kicker. I only want stocks that are up for the year. For the year. It's amazing. I know the market's been down, the NASDAQ like 30%. But believe it or not, there's hardly any of them that are up. It's 156 stocks that are active. That's it. Now, the interesting thing about this is if you build a watch list, you're going to notice that with the ES is up 63 today, a lot of these stocks were down. So just keep that in mind. It's 156 stocks, and I'll attempt to show you on how to build a watch list. Now, the other thing is I only took these. I took 16 stocks. That's it. Now, there's a lot more. Like I said, 156. So the overall market closed near its high. Go and check out 15 of these 16. Look how bad they acted at the end of the day. Pretty bad. So let me show you on how I do all that. The first thing is I'm taking these stocks. Now we can make it this way. So we could make it where the descriptive is, yeah, this is fine. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take all these stocks up here and I'm going to left click and highlight everything. There. Everything. Including all this. It doesn't matter. It'll kick it out. I'm going to right click now and copy. Now I'm going to build a watch list. I'm going to build a watch list of stocks that could be shorts for tomorrow. So I'm going to create a watch list, shorts for tomorrow. You don't see it, I'll show you in a second. All right. So here is your shorts for tomorrow. Now, this isn't guaranteed. This is a creative idea. Just in case the market goes down tomorrow, these will probably be the first to go down. So now you copied. Now what you do is you go to import. Paste from clipboard. And there they all are. Now, it's going to have some funky ones. Remember, I did over 50. So any of them under 50 are just anomalies. You want to take those out. So there you go. It's about 16 stocks. I didn't do it perfect. I know it kicks out some of them. But what I'm going to do then is I'm going to take out ELV. 
So now I'm going to count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So I'm going to take out a couple more that I hardly ever trade. So I'm going to take out Becton Dickinson. I'm going to take out Amgen. That just doesn't move a lot. And I'm going to take out McKesson. Eh, we'll take out Lily. Now how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There are 15 stocks. Now what am I going to do? I'm going to save that. Save this watch list. Nah, it's not letting me. Well, I'm just going to save this. These are 15 stocks. I'm going to create a watch list and just make it 15. So now you have 15 stocks. Those are the highest priced that are active that are up for the year. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to 15 charts. So I'm just going to go over here, 15 I have in chips. Don't worry about that. Now what I'm going to do is go far to the right and load symbols to cells. And 15 better be in here. Remember, we made a watch list of 15. And there, there they are. So I loaded 15 of the most active expensive stocks that are up for the year. And I loaded them by going load symbols to cells. There. And those are part of them I'm going to watch tomorrow. So if the markets open up, like fill that gap up there at like 3870, I'm going to see if any of these have unusual weakness and I'm going to look to either short them or look for cheap put, uh, puts in these. Now you can make this a lot bigger list and let me show you how. You go over here and we'll go back to those shorts for tomorrow. Now, this didn't work during the live class, so uh, the live session, so let's see if it works for now. So now you have these stocks. Now what I'm doing is I'm going to go to the next group, the next page. A lot of good stocks still. So I'm going to try to copy and paste again. This did not work while I was on live. I'm going to copy it. Now I'm going to go back to here and I don't want to load the symbol import. I want to paste, but I want to add to current symbols and it should build more of them. There you go. Isn't that cool? So now you take off the ones down here that I told you it was going to fill in that are just anomalies because I copied and pasted. And now you have about 30 stocks we can watch. Now we could go even lower. We could take them all, but I just can't watch all of those. So how am I going to do this? Second step, I'm going to take all of these and I'm going to look for them to cross something after the opening, like a one minute ATR trailing stop. Now some of these might have already, but I want to do a scan like this. Now, I'll probably watch all of these. So what I'll probably do is this. I'll take those 15 and then I'll have another page with another 15. It's not that many. But if you don't want to do that, you could do this. You do a brand new scan. All you're doing is taking 15 stocks. Uh, well, all of those stocks. So I'm going to go save this as another watch list. And what I'm going to do in there is take all 30. And it's, of course, not working when I'm on live. But what I'm going to do in here is take all of those and I'm going to add it to this. I'll just show you with the 15 because it's easier that way. And what I'll do then is I'm going to do an ATR trailing cross signal. 
on a five minute chart. So we're looking for the stocks that are starting to look bad right away. So I'm gonna go to my ATR trailing stop cross. It can be up or down. You could do a two minute, five minute bear cross. And all I'm doing on here is I'm looking for those 15 stocks and seeing which ones cross their ATR trailing stop. So no matching symbols right now because it's after the close. I'm then gonna save that as alert when scans when the conditions change. And then you go to your messages and it will tell you. It'll say so-and-so crossed. Now, if you don't want to have your message open, all you do is you do this. You go over to here, you have all your watch list, switch the gadget and make it the message center. And now down here, you'll get alerts. That's the way I find unusual strength or weakness. So take care. I will be tomorrow looking for short ideas if this ES opens up like 20 more and even if it doesn't, I'm going to look for those stocks that are up and look for bearish patterns within them. Have a good night. Talk to you later. Without simpler trading, I could not have financial independence. This is one of the best investments that I ever made in my life. It's helping me find consistency. It's one of the things that won me over.